Hey guys, I actually get this strategy question a lot. I think it's one of the most common ones. How do you beat Paladin Rifle with Blood Mage Second? A lot of people struggle with this at the lower and middle level of play. And I don't get to show often how I would play against it because I don't face it that often. And, you know, I try to explain, but it's different actually illustrating, demonstrating and talking about it while playing it. And as luck would have it, here we have a game against uh, Pala and Rifle. So I'll try, I'll try to show how to counter it. How to beat Pala Rifle, coming up. Are these suicide bats units really worth it in terms of money they cost? No, they're not worth it, but you need them anyway. You need a superior economy or your heroes to finish the rest. Usually Blade Lightning Orb benefits more from boosted levels than uh, FSTC. I'm, I'm in a bad situation here. I need to do what I can to remove Griffins as quickly as possible so that everything else that I have doesn't instantly die to it. Normally, in the very old meta, Blade Shadow Alchemist versus MK Paladin, on maps that lend themselves to griffoning, like this one, you would get really high level heroes while casting inefficiently blowing up uh, stuff with bats and then hopefully winning the aftermath. Cost efficiency goes up when he groups, goes down when he armors and splits, it goes up when you acid bomb, it goes down when he has upgrades. It goes up when you remove protection scroll. So there's many plays and counter plays. Turn of Stand is a very imbalanced map that greatly favors human. Therefore, you get cha challenging games like that uh, more often. This has been true for a long time. Concealed Hill favors Orc, and Turn of Stand greatly favors human. The cavity of the expansion, the spamming of the mercs, the ease with which they can creep up, the distance of uh, interrupting their creep route as the longest rush distance, the burn cap is on the cubby hole, the natural expansion is in the cubby hole. So it's always going to be tough. Ideally, if you could fast forward and skip the early game, you would have Blade Shadow Alchemist with an expo relatively fast after theirs from a tiny great hole. And you would then uh, counter their griffins with more money. You would throw money at griffins. You have three base, they have two, that kind of thing. Or you kept them at level 3-1. But because of this map and how they drop, uh, what kind of items it drops, greater mana pot, potion of... Pen like, he got greater mana pot and pot of energy. No, pendant of energy and mana pot. That's what he got when he was Archmage. And I think he got mana pot again with Mountain King. Like, these are... Almost everyone pro would agree that that's like almost game one already. So we drag it out. That's good enough. I don't care winning or losing. I mean, I care, but it's fine. Wait, where is he? Is he going Pala Rifle? Yeah. Okay, this is great. I've been getting a lot of questions. How to counter Pala Rifle. I will now do my best. I'm not saying I know how to counter it because I don't face it that often with FS FSHA. But I've told people how to counter it. And I said, harass as you normally would. Delay their lumber and their creeping. Then get TC3 and shamans. And now we'll see if it holds up. Every hit matters, every trade matters. You should have the trade advantage. Great trade deal, Grubke. Because you have a ranged hero and they don't. What's clear is you don't want them to creep. And you don't want to take damage that you don't need to. My eyes are open. My eyes are open. 
TC immediately when you reach tier 2 is very important. done by him yes. so far he didn't lose a lot of mana either all i can say is he's low on lumber keep in mind they have no speed aura unlike you of course you don't have it yet but you'll have it later No one said it was going to be easy.
Spirits of Earth and Storm, heed my call. I stand ready. Direct my My eyes you want me to how can I help destiny command you want me to what you want to go I'm ready what you want my leaders in it to me is banished my eyes how can I help you want me go who you want to rat me man why what you want me to watch I stand ready god for my answer and excellent destiny we're under attack It's fine, really. It's fine. But you see the concept of keeping him busy using micro and troll regeneration to uh, get ahead. And then getting your TC3 and using invo stomp. This is like one of the most asked questions I get. How to stop Pala Rifle, which is a very popular strat at the lower levels of the play, of the ladder. And while it was very micro intensive, my opponent also micro more strongly accordingly. Mana Lich is annoying, but you can counterplay it a bit with invulnerability and speed scroll. Don't just walk in and give him 250 mana on your TC. It's like, ugh. I have speed scroll, so I need not fear a thousand creep jacks. Armor upgrade on Headhunter is also not bad. I think I exaggerated. Yes. 
Because they don't have Archmage and Priest with this spell, spell casting for Orc is a lot better. All those builds that you never see from Orc, like Bloodlust and Lightning Shield spam against casters, it's actually good. That's why it's hard to copy because from pros, because you never see these builds. Uh, the common transition is Griffins. You gotta be ready for it if you play Grants, but if you play Headhunters, you kind of already are. There's also a certain counterplay in seeing Siphon starting and knowing who it's going to go on. I knew it's going to go on TC and he did it max range. So you just start running away and the first Siphon has been cancelled. Now again I know it's going to go TC so you immediately walk back. Freaking Fars here drank all the water skin. Two clarity, yeah. Minus 70 kick W. Oh, 
GG Two one against this guy who I didn't really know. Yeah, he plays good.